Hi friends, this is back-end dashboard of a WooCommerce store. The store setup is complete and this store is ready to sell its products online. But it has all the setup at its admin login and assume I wish to share the credentials for a store manager so that they may process the orders available on this store. I cannot this, uh, share this admin login credentials to everyone because it has all the capacity. It can disrupt the website and it can even change the certain things that is not desired by a store manager who is only handling the product sales. So there is a very simple solution uh, using a plugin. I can share only the store manager credentials, the store layout, so I'll show you the options through which you can create this store manager login. Like this is the store manager login for the same store and the store manager can access only the required things like orders, customers, products, coupons, reports and simply log out. So this interface only gives the basic things through which the orders can be processed and no admin access, no admin area access is here through this login. And it is a very simple to use interface and the store manager can handle everything like print orders, PDF access, can details can be done, customers can be seen here and similarly the products can be controlled here so all the products can be edited and the even new products can be added since a store manager can add new products to the store and the product status can be so product handling capacity and even the coupon handling capacity and even the order processing capacity has been given to the store manager and rest of things is under control to the admin so how it has been done i am going to show you so this store uses a very simple and commonly available, free available plugin called WCFM. This is front end manager for WooCommerce along with booking, subscription and listing compatible. So it is a very simple plugin through which you can achieve the goal of creating this store manager layout. And this is the setup, complete setup. So I am going to show you the setup very quickly. So this is the dashboard. I am in the the primary setup and you can uh, uh, put your logo here uh, when you install this plugin and you can uh, simply disable certain things like quick access welcome box and certain things can be disabled so that store manager can view only the necessary things not ac any extra things so it is totally upon you how you want to present your store setup to the store manager okay for that modules are in completely in your control what access you want to give to the store manager or any other user that you are creating after installing this plugin so you can hide the articles customer store coupons policy membership and all such things that is available or to the admin can be restricted to a store manager so it is totally under your controls and you can decide what actually you want to show and further the dashboard style, the dashboard pieces and the menu manager. So you can even control the menu orders and even you can hide uh, certain navigations from the menu of the store manager login. And the further email settings through which email is going to be processed and inquiry settings, one-to-one -one, uh, inquiries and the product type categories can be set here and the product custom period. So it is have a very simple setup to create this store manager login and through a store manager login it is going to be more convenient for you and the store manager as well to process all the orders uh, that is coming at your e-commerce store but still there is a problem so the solution i am going to show you in the next video a store manager can still access the dashboard using this WordPress admin bar and it is important to hide this admin bar as well because you don't want to show the additional things to the store manager or the new user who is accessing um, your store e-commerce store through this login credentials but still the 
what this admin bar can give him or her access to the certain things that you actually don't wish to give him. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can hide this admin bar. That is also going to be super simple and uh, you can create all such things. We can customize our website for sharing uh, to the set, uh, certain users with a specific roles. So in the next video, how to hide the admin bar. Okay, so let us meet.